Hello, welcome back. This is day four of your burnout recovery challenge. Today we're going to look at efficient breathing. So first of all, what is efficient breathing? We get caught up in bad habits with breathing. Over time we breathe inefficiently. We use auxiliary muscles, the muscles that aren't really designed to, to help us breathe. And we can begin to breathe quite uh, in a quite shallow way in the wrong parts of the lungs that ultimately raise our anxiety and raise our stress levels. So we end up breathing in a way that so triggers our fight or flight response. And this is done entirely subconsciously because we're never really taught how to breathe unless we've been to a yoga class or uh, a pranayama or breathing type class. So pranayama is one of my favorite things to teach. It's the science of breathing. And in its very simplest form and most effective form is something called abdominal breathing. I can't demonstrate here because of how I'm um, sat for the video, but the best way to practice this is to find at least five minutes for yourself and lie down somewhere. That can be on the floor, on a rug, in bed, if need be. When you're there, make sure that you've got a little prop under the back of your head, so it might be a pillow, a book, anything that you have to hand just to give you a little bit of a lift and bend the knees so the knees are pointing up towards the ceiling and your, knee, your legs are in that V shape. You may want to pop pillows or cushions underneath the backs of the knees. And the reason for having the knees bent is that it helps to soften the abdomen. And then when we're there, place your hands on the upper part of the abdomen. So find the lower part of the ribcage where the two halves of the ribcage meet. Place your index fingers together there and then allow the other fingers to fall on that upper part of the abdomen. And what we're going to do here is to really focus your breath into this area. So as you breathe in, feel the fingers rise As you breathe out, feel them fall. Where you can, try to keep the rib cage as still as possible. And this may be a challenge at first. And the aim is to take small controlled breaths. So it needn't be gasping and taking a huge lung full of breath. Small and controlled is the way. So keep the breath quiet as well. And where possible, breathe in and out through the nose. And notice that over time, as you practice this, the breathing starts to slow. From a visualization perspective, it can be great to imagine there's a balloon in your belly space. So as you breathe in, think about filling that balloon with air. And as you breathe out, you've literally let out a bit of air. You know, when you hold the end of a balloon and allow the air to slowly come out. So we're not kind of flattening the balloon, just a little at a time. And then when the time feels right, Start to breathe in again. And as you continue to practice this, you may also notice that there are pauses between those in and out breaths. So you filled your balloon and there's a brief moment there, a golden moment of silence. And then when it feels right, just release, breathe out. You've let the air out of the balloon 
And again, you may experience that moment of stillness, of silence. So abdominal breathing. Hopefully you've got the gist from that instruction. If you have any questions, comments, please add them below. I'd love to hear how you get on. Please try this for at least five minutes a day, where possible at a regular time. It's ideal any time, but if you want to use it as part of your wind down routine for the evening, try it before bed or even in bed before you go to sleep. Take care. I look forward to speaking to you on day five, which is efficient rest. Effective rest even.